Don't worry about the next, because it's your boy, Chris with the next. Alright, so I just want to talk about the whole XXX extension situation. Alright, so for uh, uh, those of you who do not know, he was off SoundCloud and uh, he had a big following. He lost his life a couple of weeks ago due to uh, <laughs> being shot at a by a motorcycle. <clears throat> you know, by the motorcycle. And um, some punks just came up and shot him in the neck, which is highly evil, you know, like shit in the neck. Um, so they got one of his perpetrators. One of his perpetrators are in jail, but they're not releasing the other two people's names because the people that thought, um, the people that thought who killed him, didn't kill him. Now the, uh, that soldier boy, soldier kid, um, the, the, they p posted his um, stuff all around only to find out that he didn't, that he didn't do it. And so now, of course you got record labels trying to get at this person. Of course you have, they make it, basically y'all made people, this person famous who nobody knew about and just said, yeah, I killed him, and now you made him famous. But that one of the people who actually did it is in jail, and they're looking for the other two people, but they're not saying names because they already know social media is meant to, um, you know, put them on blast. Because before, when you would um, do that, they would um, post your fit picture and your profile and all that. But now they have to um, go hand in hand with social media, so they can't really say who they're looking for. Because everybody want to play, you know, detective online. Um, my thoughts on it is, um, this is very sad, you know. For somebody to die at 20 years old, like, come on now. That's very, you know, it's like people running to the grave. But he did speak a lot of negativity into existence. And, you know, that's the reason why... Snoop Dogg said he stopped rapping about death and all of that because it was like he was almost preparing himself for what was going to happen. And all the people that he know that rapped about dying is dead. So, you know, you, you got to speak positivity into existence. And also when you're doing good, you know, you have to be blessed and silenced. Because especially in L.A., you know, you can't be out here talking about, I got this and I got that. You got a lot of people who ain't got that. Who will take your life to get what you got? <clears throat> especially so-called friends, you know. You got to know who's around you, who's in your circle, who's saying some stuff that may that may be off. I'm not saying that was his situation, but I'm just saying that can happen. <clears throat> <laughs> You know, you got a lot of fake people in L.A. who just want to use you. So sometimes you got to be blessed and silent. Can't be running around talking about where you at or dropping your location or all these um, Snapchat and all those, you know, oh, I'm here, I'm here. Like back then, stalking was a sport. You had to, you had to actually work to find somebody. Nowadays, they could just follow you online. Where this person at? Let me look this up. You know, so that's why, um, I mean, I know right now is just momentarily, I could probably be forgotten in seven months, but everybody right now, you know, you know, everybody right now, like, you know, six, nine is, um, saying, you know, oh shit, you know, let me stop trolling. You know, a lot of these SoundCloud rappers, Saying, you know, let me stop trolling, you know, let me stop doing this, let me stop doing that. But, as we all know, they're going to go back right back to the fuck shit. <clears throat> go back to beefing and stuff. So I feel like it is momentarily. That people, until the next person dies, then it's going to be the same thing all over again. Because, you know, sometimes people only say things that sound right. They don't really hold up to the end, end of the plate. But I do hope that people will stop. First of all, to be a sound 
SoundCloud rapper. If you're a rapper nowadays, it's not like being a rapper back then. People should actually be blessed because if this was the 80s or 90s, to be a rapper, you had to battle underground. Then when you um, got good and kept winning underground, then um, you would get like the $500 cash, whatever they would pay you in cash, who had the best, um, you know, a freestyle. And then you would take that and go buy yourself a demo, make yourself a demo. Then when you get the demo, you have to run up the streets, up and down of Hollywood or Burbank or wherever, to get somebody to hear your demo. Then after they hear your demo, then you have to rap in front of 20 people, just to see if you, um, of 20 people of, um, I don't know, Jive Records or anybody who wants to sign you, just to see if you are a valuable product, product, just to see if they want to put money into you. You know, sometimes that process took, you know, a long time. Nowadays, you could just upload stuff online and get you a big following. So I'm not understanding all the stupid beef, you know. You know, some of these people who are quote-unquote rappers, like a little pump, a little tape, you know, they would not be able to handle, handle themselves in in those same situations that I just said to freestyle. You know, so I just think the beef is stupid. People, I mean, I understand people not going to like each other, but nowadays people should be blessed because all the hard work that you may have to put in back in the day is taken out. You know, I do know you have to work for it, too, even online, but it's not like the 90s or the 80s. Anyways, comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next. Peace.